Welcome back friends to Time with Mrs. Tanner. This means that it's time to learn a new letter and sound. Are you ready? Here we go. You're going to echo these words. Kit. Keep. King. What sound did you hear in all these words? Did you say k, k, k? Yeah? All right, so let's explore the sound. When we make the k sound, is our mouth open or is it being blocked by anything like our tongue, teeth, or lips? Take a close look. K, k, k. Do you see Mrs. Tanner's tongue is in the way? So it is blocked. Let's fill our throat. Now, is it voiced or unvoiced? K. Do you feel actual vibrations? K. K. No, so it's unvoiced. So it's blocked and it's unvoiced. So that means it cannot be a vowel. It has to be a consonant. So this is a consonant sound. All right, now that we've explored what our mouth is doing, let's also put our hand in front of our mouth and make the sound k, k, k. What do you feel on your hand? Do you feel air? Yeah, it's coming out. Now close your eyes for a quick second. Let's feel what our tongue is doing inside of our mouth. We need to concentrate, so that's why our eyes are closed. K, 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 k. Show me with your hand. What is your tongue doing? K, k, k. So if this was the back of my tongue, it's kicking the air out. So, this is an unvoiced back kicker. So, if you've already watched my letter G video, we learned that G -g was a voiced back kicker. And now, when we make the k sound, that means it's an unvoiced back kicker. Your mouth is doing the same exact thing but this one is unvoiced. Sometimes we have the same mouth picture for two exact sounds, but one is voiced and one is unvoiced. So g is voiced and k is unvoiced. Isn't that really cool? So it's an unvoiced back kicker, k. Now, what do you think's making this sound? Did you say the letter K? Yes, it is. It is the letter K making this sound. Now, because we have a new letter, that means we have a new keyword, which means we have a riddle. Are you ready? Listen real close. This is a toy that kids love to play with, and sometimes adults too. It's great on a windy day. It can fly high in the sky. It'll have a string attached and you hold the handle. My keyword is, did you say kite? Yes. So it is K, kite, K, K, kite, K, K, kite, K, K, kite, so our new letter is the letter K. And our keyword in sound is kite k. And remember, when you're making that k sound, let's not let our jaw drop. We're not going to say ka. Ooh, that hurts Mrs. Tanner's ears. We don't say that. There's no schwa on it. No, no, no schwa. Just k. 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 A nice stop clean sound. K. Can you make it for me? Ooh, beautiful. Great job. All right. I hope you have a 
fabulous day.